<laughs> ba -ba -da -ba. Welcome. We were just making faces before we came on here. We're trying to enhance um, yeah, our For cheek. those of you on YouTube, um, you might have seen the beginning of the faces <laughs> or the end of the faces. Who knows? Well, welcome back to High Heels Happy Hour. Welcome, welcome. I am Christina. And I am Ingrid. And yes, we uh, if you've never seen our funny faces, we recommend that you check out our YouTube channel, which is High Heels Happy Hour as well. Um, and you get, yeah, to see, you our, get visual, uh, you get visual effects <laughs> with, uh, otherwise if you're tuning in, we're happy that you're here. If it's yes. the first time, this is the podcast where we talk about life in general, but a lot of, um, personal development, style, lifestyle, and health and the things that we kind of, that we like, that makes our world tick, right? Yes. A little yes. bit of everything. And I will tell you that I'm a little closer. I was to looking me. at our ranking. Yeah. And we're 45. All top, five. Top, top 45. All right. And there's a lot. I've never of, looked at ranking. Okay. I did Fine. today. And that I was is like, cool. Wait. I'm like, that's all right. Pretty cool. Considering okay. Maybe we should start of, following that. Maybe we should pay more attention. We just do it because it's fun. Yeah. No, yeah. it is fun. But I was like, wait. I was like, we're. 45. All right. Yeah. That's not too shabby considering there's a lot of. Is it in a category or overall? Or what is for it? For a category for self improvement. Okay. So, yeah, that's a big category. I know. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, there are like must be thousands. Uh, that's a. It's. I thought it was. Maybe cool. we need to. Okay. So, guys, you need to share us with some more <laughs> of your friends so we get up to top. Top 10. Top 10. No, or top 20. Would top be cool 10. Too. Top okay. is. Yay, that's the new goal. Yes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so let's check in and yes. see. So check in. Gosh. Check in. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff coming it's... up. For those of you that have listened, know that I'm mm. a veteran. Mm. So Veterans Day mm. and the holidays are two probably of the beginning of a crazy season between holidays being emotionally. Yeah uh really heartbreaking mm -hmm. and veterans day for all the ceremonies so yeah. um pretty much yeah hold in a million directions yes. right now so. and then you're also the campaign manager for christina Pern for yes. dancing with the stars so it's been <laughs> a little crazy because I, I i have been better with boundaries but this is stuff that <gasps> i i do anyways and at this time it's it's difficult to delegate stuff that i need to do no, I know. So I know the uh, feeling. It's a little crazy. But I'm so glad that you haven't said no to me yet. Yeah. So <laughs> someone I met one of the other dance. Well, for those of you that don't know, we have a local Dancing with the Stars here called Dancing with Vero Stars, mm -hmm. which I'm sure is uh, in all towns around um, uh, the country. And uh, I'm one of the dancers this year, uh, not pros, but star. <laughs> but um, so Ingrid has I. I hired her for no compensation to be my, she didn't know it, but she became yeah, my campaign was, ma manager. It, it yes. was without yes, even it would, being yes, asked. It was, so I didn't have time to <laughs> set my boundaries. I couldn't say no and I couldn't say yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. But you know, payback, because I think you'll be asked very soon. So payback time. Anyway, but I met someone at uh, Michael's as we were putting together gift baskets because check in that's what i've been doing for a silent auction for this uh event and she was saying this is we were talking about how much work this has been and she was saying yeah and other people have their spouses their wives do all the work and because they're five male and five female and all the males seems to have their wives working doing all the fundraising and the, oh. yeah uh, she said my husband hasn't done anything and i said well my husband has gotten me some silent auction items but she said so how are you doing and i'm like i hired my best friend <laughs> without her knowing that she was hired <laughs> oh, i'm glad you all know that and i know that now i'm like i never got but I don't mind helping. Yes. And, and she knows I fundraise all year. All yes. She's year. very good at it. No, but she's going to say no to everything else after this. So yes. no it's point uh, in trying to get her to be your campaign manager. Yeah, sometimes for a while. I, I just want to hide. Yeah. But it's okay. 
Yeah, it's definitely fundraising is uh, an it's animal. An it's a, yeah, it's a different. You learn a lot about not just about yourself because you have to sort of. It's not for you. It's for. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't even know how po political fundraising because then it's for you. That was must be awful. <laughs> but uh, now you're fundraising for a, a charity, but. Still, you learn a lot about yourself, but also about other people. So people that might not be super close to you, but acquaintances that some people say, no, I can't. And I completely understand. But some people just never give you a straight answer. No. And that, and that, that, that that's drives difficult. me. Yes. It's like they think that you're going to forget about it. You're like, eh, no, I'm not. But I know now where you stand. So well, also, too, and, it, and that's a little difficult. It's almost like a fine line to be because mm -hmm. they don't think about it that way. Yeah. They're like, well, I just, if I don't answer. Then I haven't be... said no. Yes. And I, <laughs> which is what, yeah, just what, what they should say is say no. Yeah. And they don't have to give a reason why. No. They just say, absolutely not. No, they may not feel like absolutely. it. They might not want to give fun. I've to said that no many times because I couldn't either financially or something else but it doesn't but, really have to have a reason you can just say no yeah, yeah. but uh, but then at least you know yeah no, and we can all move on it's difficult but it's yeah but it's you learn a lot challenging. It's, it's very uh, i don't want to do it in a really long time again but so now you know how i feel when i have when i do yes. it i don't have to yeah let's just yeah. make that but i do it all year round. Yeah. No, that's uh so sometimes I talk to people and I'm like, I'm not asking you for any no, money in this conversation. I know. I know. People go, Oh no, here she is. Yes. What does she want now? Yes. So that that becomes a little Yeah, well I felt that this last year. I felt like people are like, Oh no, it's Christina. Okay, so now she's gonna ask me for something. But I will tell you, when you do it all year, you find people that you go to talk to mm -hmm. and they simply say, Okay. I have this much. What do you need? And I'm like, mm, oh, that's nice. Thank the Love Lord. That. Yes. Yep. So now it's like, I almost, I mean, knock on wood. I almost mm -hmm. don't have to ask. I just let people know this is what I'm doing. If you can help yeah. just reach out that's from good. here that's because good. it's always ongoing. Yeah. So anyway, 411 on fundraising. So yeah. what's so, a hack? So this is a hack I'm going to try. I have not tried it yet, but I read it mm. and I thought, Hmm. Sounds interesting. Slightly weird, but interesting. So if you have smelly sneakers, which full disclosure, we have a family of smelly sneakers and I am part of that group too. I cannot say that my sneakers smell like roses. No. So it says you can put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer overnight. And that's supposed to kind of kill off the germ. I don't know. My sneakers don't smell. Really? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I am not going to do a test. No, but, mine uh, okay. really do no, not. Mine do. And my boys my do. My sons do. <sighs> and my daughter's uh, her does as well. So uh, I'm going to try this. Usually we don't leave shoes in the house. All our shoes are, well, except for my you know, high heels and stuff. I have them in boxes in a closet because I don't like smelly shoes and I don't like dirty shoes. I don't like shoes in house, period. That's a Swedish thing. And I okay. think it's a Japanese thing too. And it's some cultures, it's just, you don't walk huh. inside with shoes. And in Sweden, if you're going to go to a, someone's house for a dinner party, you bring your indoor shoes. So you take off these shoes you wear outside because then you're bringing all the germs and all the stuff that you step on inside the house. So that's why we I never... I think that's a European... No, not all. Not all countries. I know in the UK they do that. I had a that. friend that had a basket of socks. Yeah, that's very... That's common too in like uh, Japan. And they had like a... Or, or a whole... My sister used to have a whole uh, basket full of slippers that people could put on when they came in. But then you put on somebody else's slippers. Oh, you have... Most of the time you have socks on. That's fine. But then you have stinky socks. No. You well, have if you have that, feet. then you avoid. <laughs> if you know you're just, clean feet, I am just you teasing. Do. But yeah. anyway, so um, our sneakers are not in the house. They are out in the garage anyway. But I still 
I'm still going to try this. Okay, so you try that and let me know. Yes, I will report back on the the sneaker uh, dilemma. Okay. Okay. I'm going to share a beauty hack. And we all love, notice, and exactly she cued lipstick. Mm. So have you ever had your favorite lipstick just break? Usually you shouldn't yes. open it all the way. Sometimes they break mm-hmm. and they you leave it in the car, especially in Florida, mm-hmm. kind of melts and you open it and it breaks in yeah, half. Yeah, and they put it on and it goes. <laughs> yes. Yep. So they have, I've seen it, I've done it, but you have a lighter and you melt the part closest to the tube part. Yeah. You melt it together. Uh-huh. Okay. You stand it up. Yeah. Then you melt the sides and let it kind of it'll melt into itself. And then freeze it for 10 minutes. Okay, so now you have to watch oh. YouTube because now I'm going to have to. Okay, so here's my lipstick. Yes. So what part where? So if, if it breaks Yeah, that's here, usually where it breaks. That's the part you melt. Okay. You melt those two together, place it, Uh huh. put it down, Uh huh. and then you melt the side. So it kind of just melts Uh huh. down, and then you clean up just the mess. So you mean part. I can't just shove it back yeah, in Yeah, no. <laughs> Let's not do that. And then you close it uh-huh. and freeze it for 10 minutes. Oh, okay. If it doesn't work, and I think Christina might have a little bit of trouble with doing that, mm-hmm. you can take all of it mm-hmm. and get a contact case, Uh huh. empty it out, Yeah. put the lipstick in there, melt yeah. it, and then use a lip brush. Okay. So that way you get, yeah. don't lose your favorite no, I know. color, especially that when, really when you're in seasons. Sometimes we run into where we have yeah. a fall color come out, come out, and we really love it, and yeah. it breaks. Yeah, we don't want to throw it out. Yeah. So contact case, same thing. Freeze it for ten minutes. Lip brush or melt it with a lighter. Okay. So that's my DIY lipstick. hacks yes. hacks for today. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you ready? Yes, we're gonna be mindful today, right? Yes. We're so- gonna prepare for yeah it's november you know it's the holidays well the first holiday is coming very soon it, yeah. the holiday season is gonna be upon us so fast Very you shortly. go to the store i think before october before or in october yeah i saw thanksgiving and mid-october oh I they've saw already christmas. started all the christmas stuff yes. yeah mm. I, I, it's a little disturbing mm. so mindfulness for me means a oh, quite a few things but with the holiday season coming up you're going to see and mm-hmm. deal with people that you probably haven't dealt with in a little bit mm-hmm. so family um holidays family can be hard yeah i i have yeah i don't really have anybody here but my friends i, I have a lot of friends that become my family so i can't say that but blood blood family mm-hmm. i don't have um much but holidays are sometimes really difficult for people. Yeah. They've lost loved ones. And usually mm-hmm. if you've lost a loved one, usually the holiday season would be when you see them. So not seeing them mm-hmm. might spark up some um, uncomfortableness. So mindfulness yeah. for me is just kind of just setting yourself up and knowing that things will come up. Mm-hmm. But just know how to kind of not shake it off. Yeah. But what is it called um, when you weather the storm? They just be prepared. Yeah. You know, just be mindful. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. how about you? Yeah. No, uh, holidays can definitely be, there's a lot. Usually we've, and I will say having been living in a different continent than all our family, uh, sometimes they all come over, not all at the same time, but sometimes we have a full house. We have a full house for the holidays, which is fun, but can also be Mm. quite challenging. Um, it's my son's birthday as well on Christmas Eve. That's right. Yeah. So it's always been, yeah, I think Thanksgiving is for us again, because we don't have family here. It's not a holiday you celebrate in Sweden. So no one is expecting you to celebrate that with them. So we've always celebrated Thanksgiving with friends. Oh, yes. So we, I did not know yeah, that. Yeah. So we've had, um, well, and the family Chipo and her family yes. is coming down and that's, the ones we've been celebrating the most. So Thanksgiving for me is all about fun, but the rest can be quite stressful. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't know that. I learned that. Yeah. I just usually just, I always know Chipo comes down. Yeah. No, it's weird. We we don't have, uh, it's not a, it's it's a new tradition for us. If it's not Hmm. something we grew up with. Okay. Interesting. Right. So you ready to dig in? I am. Okay. So, and these are going to be kind of tips 
or things that you can do for mindfulness and we'll just have an open discussion on what you think and mm -hmm. what we can elaborate on yeah um, but we talked about this before it's having a either a fixed mindset versus mm -hmm. a growth mindset mm -hmm. and this is where when you're set on your ways mm -hmm. it's really difficult to be open to anything if you're yeah. just like nope this is the way it's going to be and that is it versus if you have a growth mindset yeah. then you're open to different things or you always say if you're not learning you're dying, dying. <laughs> and i think here too especially with the holidays a lot of people expect the traditions to be exactly the same year mm. from year like but that's what we always do i think that's one way to really ruin it is to try to to make it a, a car carbon copy there's something to be said for tradition it's fun but sometimes it doesn't work out and it's okay and you can come up with new ways of doing it and explore there was a, a story on that on yeah. um instagram oh yeah on how families yeah. are you, as a family you pass down tradition mm -hmm. and it's 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 this way yeah but when you marry yeah it's for you mm -hmm. to start your yep. own traditions yeah so that was interesting yeah. that you said that because it's true i mean that's but that's I, yeah but i think it's important around the holidays to really have a growth Yes. Um, mindset and maybe one of your kids doesn't want to come home or maybe they're bringing a girlfriend and you don't like I mean whatever it is yeah or their parents are you preparing are yourself and, yeah <laughs> <laughs> we haven't gone there yet thankfully oh. no. no I think I, I think we've been very flexible on the holidays because we had to go home or not stay here have people so for us it's been uh quite flexible I'm the same way yeah I'm very yeah. open to whatever, yeah. whatever. it's okay uh, next one. This is really important. So negative and to positive thinking. Replace negative self-talk with obviously positive. Mm. Have an, and having an optimistic look. Focus on solutions versus problems, which I think our society focuses mm -hmm. on problems. Yeah. Versus yeah. how can so, we make it better? So there's a saying um i think i've said it before i can't remember but if you don't if there's um if there is a way if there's a solution to your problem or several solutions to your problem you're not allowed to complain meaning if i'm complaining about something that i could do something to change mm -hmm. i'm not allowed to complain about it so huh. for instance let's take an example um say uh, well easy one i want to lose five pounds and i complain about or having gained five pounds or ten pounds or whatever and i keep complaining about having gained the ten pounds well there are obvious solutions to what i could be doing if i'm choosing not to do that totally up to me but i can't go around complaining about it so now let's say you know this person or mm -hmm. they're in your family. Do you, mm -hmm. do you tell them, Hey, do you have options or do you kind of, I've have been known to do that. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, am not I think surprised. I told my mom not too long ago, she was complaining about, and she's had a lot of things that she's allowed to complain about going through cancer and everything, but there was something else, something s silly. And I said, well, there is an obvious solution to that. So you can't, you can't complain. It's just that you don't want to deal with the solution. She's like, oh, okay. So <laughs> with that, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm a little different than that, than mm -hmm. you, is I see the solution, mm -hmm. but when it's someone else, mm -hmm. I try to do like a little, what, what we call reverse psychology mm -hmm. for you to come up with a solution. Because sometimes, even though you know that there's a solution, the person is set yeah. on some But stuff. I'm not telling them what they should do. I'm just saying, Are no. you sure? Well, <laughs> with you, of course, I do. And my husband and my kids. No, but I, it's not about that. It's just about, no, you can't complain to me because we both know there's a solution. So you're not allowed to verbalize and walk around and be okay, negative. I get it. But also, also it's sometimes people just want to be heard. I know, I know. So, 
Yeah. Yeah. But I like that. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Yep. So next one is, ooh, this one we've talked about too. Fear of failure mm-hmm. versus, or or two, embracing mistakes. Mm. And that's, that's th- this one's a hard the, one, right? This one is kind hard. of like a, a set of like a, a minute of, of silence because mm-hmm. we've always been taught, you know, you just, you, you just don't fail, like fear and fail. And it's kind of well, I think we do it to our kids. We tell them, "Oh, it's okay, just try." But I think as we get older, the fear of failure becomes so children much bigger. are fearless. Yeah, that's one thing I've noticed that I've had to let go is letting my children live fearlessly. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I want to say, not "Don't do them. that," yeah. and I have to literally bite my tongue yeah and walk away and just say you know what i need to allow them to just do what they want to do and if they fail or if they don't they find out yeah i've no i agree i've been known to it's uh we we want to i mean if we could bubble wrap our kids that'd be great but especially when they're little (sighs) but it's a hard one Mm -hmm. i think in some ways some things, and, and we probably will touch on it later, but as you get older, you get better at certain things, like not worrying so much. And I think we're getting to that or, or yes. worrying about what other people think. But um, when it comes to failure, I'm not sure we get better with age on that. Probably not. I think that the kind of, it's something you I have to. I think our bounce to, back ability is better. Yeah. But I think it's something you you actively really need to. You almost need to have that kid mindset of, Mm -hmm. okay, well, if I fail, then oops. Or think the, what's the worst that can happen? If you kind of paint out, if you're uh, like me, analytical, (laughs) analytical. So then I'm like, okay, so what is the worst that can happen? And then, uh, and when you've kind of verbalized that, it's not as daunting anymore it's like well now i know and do i still choose to do it or not but yeah no yeah. no it's uh you fail forward to success right and so many things in this world would not be there if it wasn't for massive fail- failures because a lot of yeah. the great inventions and ideas people have had have come out of necessities because they failed on some sort or or they did something and it yeah. didn't. It, it came out this way, but yeah. that's the way where yeah. Yeah. the invention so, came about. What if? What if it just turns into? Uh, it sounds really good as we're talking about yeah. it, but we all have that. Let's go fear. fail a little. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <sighs> oh my! All right. So this one is scarcity and to abundance. Mm-hmm. Now this is something that. I believe I've gotten better mm. at as far as abundant thinking. I always mm. think that all great things. Like sometimes before I was very kind of just bad things happen. Now I'm like, no, like I'm going to go into this office mm-hmm. and I'm going to get mm. this done, that done, or check into the hotel and mm-hmm. get breakfast mm. and get yeah. some so I, She's oh, the expert on getting upgrades, just so you guys know. <laughs> Traveling with English. But that, that has been my abundant thinking. Yeah. That why not? Me? Yeah. Yeah. You know, That's you know, great. Even though things have happened to me that are not great. Yeah. I really work on why not me? Why not something good happened to me? Mm-hmm. And it sometimes works, but... If I say, why not? If it does, it does. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. No, and I think that's a gift. I think it's something that, I think they go very much hand in hand, these last three, because both the negativity and the Mm -hmm. complaining, I mean, that's a very much like, poo-hoo, poor me. Same thing with the failure. Of course, I'm I'm, I'm, going to, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. I'm going to fail somehow. And then this, they're, they're, they're all about, taking chances and um and yeah what is the worst that can happen yeah. what if they say no if you don't ask the answer is always no we might not get breakfast in bed but we'll have no, a buffet there you're right <laughs> i think it was it was so fun when we traveled yes we gotta do that again yeah. soon we haven't done that in a long time they would always have me check in They're like no, yes. you check in you check Adrian. in you get the upgrades and then uh <laughs> 
I'll wait here with the luggage. Yeah. <laughs> and so this one is, is, you know, and you'll notice as we go through the list, they're all kind of add on. This one is victim mentality to empowerment. Yeah. So that's very much the, yep. Yep. Again, yep. it's all, all this time mm -hmm. I go in and this happens to me. Yeah. So yeah. why is, why am I going to try? It, yeah. They kind of all go, they're all separate, but they all go. Yeah. Together, no, I, I agree. Which and is, I think the victim mentality, I think the one way. That's your pet peeve. Yeah. I hate when people. I, yeah. I know. I, can't I can, I can feel when, it. Yeah. It's. That's one thing I noticed about you. Uh, but it's, it's, um, um, I forgot my train of thought. But I apologize. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Yeah, I guess. So, get so many emotions. Yeah, no. That. And I, mm. and that's one thing I, I have mm. noticed throughout the years. And I've tried to explain to you sometimes that victim mentality is very um, self uh, induced. Yeah. I, I guess mm -hmm. it's more the person doesn't really know they're doing it yeah i know i know yeah. you guys have to see this video because this is really <laughs> funny you see her eyes roll uh, but no but it's but it's good for you to be aware of that too because sometimes it's you're beating a dead horse no absolutely you know and it's like absolutely. no matter what you do you'll turn purple and they're yeah. not gonna change yeah. how it, they it, think. and i think it's hard for people that are that like to victimize themselves it's hard to snap out of yes because it's it's a very safe uh, place to be yeah mm -hmm. so i don't even know where you start but i think one thing is maybe to say well you know it's not all about me it's not happening to me everything doesn't happen to me things happen yes and sometimes i it you know concerns me it goes or back I'm to involved. the fear but it, yeah, huh? but things happen. And then whether I choose to uh, break down or not. Uh, yeah. And, and it, I mean, sometimes things happen to people where you feel like, you know what, you're allowed to have mm. a, a pity party, pity and, party yeah. for a while. And absolutely. And some people are amazing in the way that you think that, oh my good, goodness, I really feel sorry. And they're like, you know what? It's okay. Yeah. And that, uh, that to me is admi admirable, admirable, not admirable, admirable. I knew what you meant. Uh, but it's, it's, <laughs> that's fantastic. And I think they are so much stronger for it because I mean, being in a pity party, <laughs> it's only one, the only person that really suffers is Mm -hmm. you the person feeling sorry for yourself no yeah newsflash no one else feels so sorry for you no. as you do and, and no matter what no matter what they're going yeah, people through. have their own stuff to deal with yeah. so uh yeah yeah so which leads me into blaming others oh or taking ownership oh oh that's another one that gets my my blood boiling a it does because christina yes. is a bit of a, a a d if you guys haven't noticed mm. So, and if you don't know what D means, go back to the disc episode, one of our first ones. Which what number was that? Well, two or three. Two, yeah. That was early. Was, yeah. Yeah. We've talked about, it's good. we talked about that early on so yeah. you could understand how we talk mm -hmm. because you'll, you'll know in every episode, mm -hmm. which one we are, mm -hmm. uh, taking ownership and blaming others has been taking ownership or blaming others or I'm sorry, yeah. or uh, that's been interesting in my life mm -hmm. because a lot of the stuff that had happened to me wasn't my fault mm -hmm. but I thought it was my fault so it was a little mm -hmm. different for me so you mean you took ownership over something that wasn't yes I wanted to fix it I oh. wanted to go back mm -hmm. and say okay well what could I have done oh. differently so okay. they wouldn't do this okay so it's a little different okay. so I used it as so with me, things that happened to me, mm -hmm. I was aware how it made me feel. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't treat you the same way I was treated because I didn't know, I didn't want to make you feel like I felt. Yeah. So all I knew was to do the opposite. Mm. I didn't know why. I just okay. didn't 
want to be the reason you felt sad or hurt. So that's part of your people pleasing. Yes. Yes. But it it was my default because I just yeah. I was really aware. I can definitely of, understand of that. Not, I didn't want to make you feel how I felt. Yeah. And so, full disclosure too, if you're new to this uh, channel, yes, Ingrid is a recovering people pleaser. Yes. <laughs> but it but it was it's a safety mechanism yeah. because I just all I knew was I didn't want to hurt people how I was mm. hurt. Yeah. So it's not about so much people pleasing. I just didn't want to. No, I understand that, that, but I think it can it, it, become yes, that. Yes, it can become because... that, but it was just simply, just plain old scientifically, I just did yeah. not want to hurt someone yeah. okay. how I did. So this, and until I took responsibility, until I understood that I actually have control of how I react, mm -hmm. it wasn't, I didn't get it. Yeah, but people not taking responsibility, I mean, we can all, we can all name X amount of people we know where it's never their fault. Yeah. For instance, they're always late, but it's never their fault. It's always something that happens to them that they can't. Oh, my goodness, this and that and road work and yeah, yeah, whatever. Or it's something else that happens, but it's never their fault. So and, really, really funny. I yeah. got a message this morning yeah. of someone send me a picture and she's she's probably going to listen to this and laugh really loud oh, she will know so who she, she is. sent me a meme uh -huh. of sitting on the couch uh-huh just sitting on the couch yeah it says i'm really not always late i just do this instead <laughs> <laughs> and i thought this is perfect i have to show christy i have to show it to you because i was yes. like oh my goodness it's not yeah the train it's not yeah. trapped it's just and it's not that it thinks that shit doesn't happen. No, shit happens, but it cannot happen every single time. And it's never your fault that you're, you know, feeling I just the blank, stop. I just say, Christina, or, I'm, or, I'm running late yeah. and I don't even, I don't even give you an excuse. Anymore. It doesn't have to. I just no, say, I'm just, that's totally fine. But in this society, mm -hmm. we've always been taught mm -hmm. that something is done because of this. There's mm -hmm. always been the scientific of if you mix hydrogen and nitrogen, this happens because of this. There's always mm -hmm. a because. Yeah. Whereas it's cause really and not. effect. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it's sometimes yeah. this is not. Yeah. So yeah. But owning up to your mistakes, I think people that can own up and say, you know what? I messed up. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I think that is one of the most again admirable um personality traits Just you can character have. yeah and i even when my kids do that if i get mad and like what did you do and they go i'm so sorry i messed up that then i lose my whole madness i'll go oh, uh, uh, okay <laughs> but, yeah, <I've laughs> but if they start oh it wasn't too. me it was the door you know oh yeah. no but then i get furious like, now oh, have it. you apologized to them when you're wrong. Yeah. 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 Okay. Me yeah. too. I, I think I'd like to think <laughs> that I am pretty good at saying, you know what? I'm sorry. I was wrong. She's gotten really good at saying, Ingrid, you're right. And I kind of like that. That's Isn't that really... the same thing as saying I'm, I was wrong? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, if you insist on no, that. No, but I think I, I think I, I, it's probably something we all could work more on, but I think I'm pretty good at at um again because it's something i really detest in people when they can't own their shit so to speak yeah um i think i work I'm on it good. yeah i'm sure i can get a lot i, mean, better, I have to but... when i when i'm ready to say that i yeah my brain is walking me through what i need to say yeah yeah because i want them to to have that and still it's it's not always okay to make a mistake or to say or lie or to do mm -hmm. something, but it's always the right thing to just say, I did this. Because yeah. everything has a consequence, good, bad, yeah. or indifferent. Yeah. It's a choice. So now that we've got mm. Yes. Get to feel the heat mm. in this room. Yes. Oh, competition to collaboration. We've talked oh, about this yeah. before. Yeah. So this is an area we're really good. Yeah. So <laughs> collaboration is pretty much, I think, the only way to go. Yeah. 
I think competition is only if you're going for the win, for like the gold, even swim. Yeah, I mean, it, it might be the only time there's really a win, a race. win is if there, yeah, exactly. Yes. There's a race, a sports competition, a, I guess, a dancing competition. Mm -hmm. No, but it, it, there's in anything else. Yeah, I don't need else, to collaborating with any other, you no. need to win. Okay, okay? yes, yes. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> any other way in, in life, in work specifically, yes. uh, there is always, and I think this is something that we learned a lot from Mary Kay, uh, because of course there's millions of, of consultants out there, but one thing that they've always been, um, super important or pushed super hard is there's enough people for everyone mm -hmm. and, and working together help you so much more because you learn from each other. And I think. That definitely has helped. And I think often you notice when people, if someone, you meet someone who has the same profession, you can almost see like, oh my God, you're also, and you can see like how the, they're closing into their shell and thinking that, oh, now we're competitors. No, you know what? There's enough people for all of us and, mm -hmm. and we more. probably attract different people anyway. Yes. So, uh, I mean, I know in my world with interior design, I don't feel, other designers are competitors. They they have their niche. I have mine, and maybe we have cl crossovers business wise. But I can learn so much more from if we help each other with resources mm -hmm. and even you know. This I also I learned in the military because yeah, you when a job is getting done, mm -hmm. it's not a sign like you have a job that you do by yeah. paper. Yeah. If something needs to get done, yeah. it needs to get done. Yeah. If you need to get a, a Humvee ready. Yeah. And it's not can't. like, no, I'm on a break right now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, hey, do you need gas? Uh, yeah. No, it's not my turn. Yeah. That's not my job. Which was awesome. really difficult when I got home from overseas. Oh, okay. When I worked in an office. Yeah. Because it was everyone for their own, on their own. Yeah. So I was like, wait, I'll do that. And they were like, oh, no, that's yeah. not on your job description. I'm like, what do you, what do you mean? Yeah. And no, I agree. I that was a rude awakening for me. And yeah. I think in some professions too, like I know for I had just met someone this weekend, a friend who who is starting to do closet audits, which is something I do as an as an image consultant. And I saw that she is almost uncomfortable mentioning it to me. I think it's great because you know what? More people, if we can help more people mm -hmm. clean out their closets and really because it's you know, the purging is is huge. Uh, mentally and uh, that's just good for my business too so sometimes when you have a, a job that's slightly obscure or not mainstream you're going to benefit yeah. from having more people doing it because it's going to become um more but that's because that people... you have that abundant thinking and mm -hmm. she's probably starting and she's like oh man yeah. she's already done it for so long and no know, i think she thought that i was going to get mad or feel like she was getting she, into but my she's territory. New. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I mean no, I you're, think it's great. I'll but, help her. Right. But you're very D. Yeah. And you put off D. Mm -hmm. So when someone's not as strong as you, it's really easy to get mm -hmm. that vibe. Okay. We've talked about that. Well, I you're very I'm, I think I'm warm and fuzzy. <laughs> well the next one is <laughs> maybe just fuzzy. <laughs> and instant gratification to delayed gratification Ooh, and i yeah. think we've become mm. a microwave society absolutely especially with everything i in think the past we get worse years. with each generation every day it just gets worse and worse and i think all of us have gotten worse but our kids are definitely way worse than we are yes so how, how can we help them <sighs> I don't know. This is hard when everything is instant and you love Amazon. And if it's not next day delivery, you're like, what? So now they do midnight delivery. Ugh, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I have no idea how it's going to be. Um, well, the good thing is that we know that this. having patience, th things take time. Mm -hmm. And I have, a, yeah. a, um, I compared it to like a recipe. You know, sometimes you have to have the dry ingredients and then the wet ingredients, everything to create this like really awesome cake. Yeah. yeah. So I think we, even though things are easier or accessible, what accessible. is it? Yes. 
better accessible or more yeah. accessible, mm -hmm. we still have to understand that everything takes time. Yeah. And if you want to take less time, then you may have to do a little more work. Yeah, but it's it's so but it's still work. So much we talked about health, yes. wellness, all of that. It's not instant gratification. It's a Can you imagine if you can just lose ten pounds just like this? I mean, there are ways of doing it. Again, um, you can cut off the leg and you can, uh, <laughs> you know, you can. But the thing is, too, when things happen too fast, you're usually. So that's why crash diets don't work, because you, mentally you're not in that lane. And yet. I don't think you enjoy things as much when they happen so fast, because then you're chasing the yeah. next thing. What is it? Chasing the next best thing. Yeah. Just think about when we grew up and you had a camera and you had to go get the film developed and then you got the pictures i mean that was like i remember where we had places where they could develop the pictures in like an hour that was that was amazing exciting. you still had to wait till you the 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 film roll was full so it wasn't like you took one picture and went and had it developed no yeah. you had to take the 24 or 36 whatever it was but that anticipation waiting to get your envelope with pictures i mean that was so much fun and then of course most of them were not so good but still that was just the build up to see and relive the moment of when you took the pictures yeah. which usually happened a week or more or mine and sometimes you accidentally had an old uh, shot on the roll that you've forgotten about you're like oh hmm. so, yeah so that to me that's is a great the, analogy yes thank you thank you yes <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh nice. yes oh thank man you, you. okay and this one i don't think you have an issue with seeking approval to self-acceptance well you're I'm, very yeah. I, I'm a little, I'm, I'm, high, I'm kind of, I think I'm, no one is harder on me than me, but I'm not necessarily needing it for someone else. But I think I'm my own. And I think that's true for a lot of people. We can be our own worst critics, but mm -hmm. it's the, the issue is when you need the approval from others. Yes. That's the, I think this is one where you do get better with age. Yeah. Cause right. it's not as important to i think yeah I, I've, what other I've become think. to be a little bit more lenient or sometimes i'm just like you know what i really don't really care yeah what you yeah. think i'm just gonna do like i yeah. said no and it's no and if i yeah. say yes it's yes and but i do think that's a wisdom with age in many ways i think i, I was not as so if you're listening to this and just just wait it gets better yeah okay? so when you reach 25 like ingrid and yeah. i <laughs> it does get better it does get better all right and do, 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 oh this one's really so knowing your self-worth doesn't depend on someone else yeah and a lot of <laughs> sorry you're so good looking <laughs> now you're pushing you. it oh okay. thank you okay self-worth has become someone else's thought mm -hmm. and this has i mean with mm -hmm. mental health yeah has been super mm -hmm. high Mm -hmm. is someone did something to you to hurt you so you your value is determined on how someone treats you yeah and when you learn yes. that the way someone treats you is how actually they think of themselves mm -hmm. you tend to understand your self-worth is self-induced i think this is the area most therapists work yeah most at trying to um, break that cycle break mm -hmm. yeah because yeah that's, obviously that's, I'm uh, glad I talked to a lot of therapists which is why I'm like wait this is kind of what happens yeah which is insane um let's see and then this is kind of a little bit on acceptance is self-comparison mm -hmm. and showing self-compassion mm -hmm. so, which yeah. that is where you become kind to yourself yeah are you kind to yourself? Um, I think I've gotten kinder with age. I think I was. So this, I think I'm so still a little my, hard on myself. Hope but I think it's uh, older. I think I've. I was way harder. Oh, <laughs> now she. Yes, she is younger than I am. Um, 
but I think I, I've gotten better, but it's, it's not, I think I'm still pretty hard for myself. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty, yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of, I, I, I don't know. I got, I'm a little. Yeah. I think I, I'm, I still, I don't think I've gotten that much kinder to myself. <laughs> um, with age, what has changed is just that I don't care what others think. Which I is think, huge. Yeah. I mean, I care, but it's not the it's end not all be all. Yeah. It's not going to be. So I see with my 14 year old, of course, being a freshman in high school, what other people think is everything. I mean, like mm -hmm. the pressure of it. So she decides to do something or wear something. And all of a sudden, you're like, why did it change? Oh, no, it's just that doesn't work because someone else was not going to yeah. wear that or it was considered someone said something or it yes isn't just, it so crazy how things happen they be, they're super fearless mm -hmm. then so, they get involved with society mm -hmm. then they go as society kind of flows yeah like nemo no. when they get caught in that wave they kind of just follow the yeah. wave and yeah. they're scared to kind of like just go on their own yeah and you want to just shake them and say just do what you want yes but yeah. don't worry yeah, about what everyone else is doing but it's, it's part of I, I'm kind to other people. I'm a lot mm -hmm. kinder to other people than mm -hmm. I am to myself. Yeah. Which I'm learning. I'm yeah. learning to give myself grace. Yeah. Because sometimes... Which is also an episode that we yes. did with Emily McHugh. Uh, but I have, yeah. I have to remind myself. Like, yeah. You know, literally just sit in the moment and say, okay. Yeah. I, I, I'm not able to do this. Like when I said earlier, this this... When I checked in, I have so much stuff and I decided to go back mm -hmm. to the gym, mm -hmm. you know, so I have a lot of stuff that I'm doing and I'm just saying to myself, just baby steps, just do mm -hmm. what you can right now yeah. and everything will follow. But uh, it's a, it's a unique journey. So if you're yeah. on a journey right now, mm -hmm. who knows, it just gets better. Just continue to do what you yeah. love to do or makes you happy yeah. or they always say you you can't make yourself happy, but you can create joy. Happy yeah. is an overrated, yeah, word. Yeah, no, because we're all there. Are going to be parts of your day that is bad and things. I mean, on a daily basis, it's a cycle. But if you have joy, you handle it's in all there. those. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Happy is a what is it? Uh, I don't even know what kind of word it is. A verb or whatever. But happy is just happy. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Yeah. Joy <laughs> is within. Yeah. So. I think I've learned to just hmm. have joy and I get sad and I get mad and I get angry. Hmm. But I never get angry or mad. No. Okay. So let's <laughs> see. Okay. So mindfulness yeah. is a the most powerful tool. Your mind mm -hmm. is the most powerful thing mm -hmm. that you have. Mm -hmm. So that means that you have to feed it with yeah. good things, great things always learn new things and know that some stuff can go into the don't care bucket. You know, men actually have a square in their head that they think of nothing. Oh yeah. I, that's, I've seen, I've seen evidence of that on a daily basis. <laughs> uh, huh? No, but scientifically <laughs> nothing. Huh? Yeah. I I think I've done that once in my life, and I probably yeah. was under the influence. So yeah. It doesn't count. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Probably drunk. <laughs> then I might be huh? So can you imagine men men behave drunk when no, but they they think of nothing. Oh, yeah. That would be hard. Oh, okay. I don't even know how you so, do that. So be aware of your behavior. Mm -hmm. in your well-being well-being as christina has talked about it you know yeah eating um grounding yeah just and super important with mindfulness too i think because a lot of the other things you do by yourself like the wellness and eating and i mean it's something you what you do you will see the results with mindfulness because you're always interacting with other people mm -hmm. it's so important to be aware of the people you surround yourself with because mm. we know you become like the five people or you become the sum of the five people that you hang around most. So you get a little bit of everything of the five 
Um, that's the most influential, but it doesn't have to be in person. So it can be if you're listening to a podcast or what. I mean, pe some would people. You feed your, would you? Yeah, feed your I mean, brain? some people only watch Fox News, and some only watch CNN, and I mean, it, 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 that will watching. definitely. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that has an effect yeah. because then you become and what you think and how you see the world is going to be a uh, um, sum of the five. So be, be be aware with friends too that drain you and that are not positive and lift you up. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely not healthy for the mind. And don't ever take advice from someone that yes. you would not trade places with. Amen to that. Yes. And I would say it doesn't have to be advice or sorry, trade places within all things, but it could be for that specific area. Yes. So it could be, I could take business advice from someone who's been successful in business. I might not want her life Relationship, in general, yeah. but I, I, from if I want her, my business to be more like her business or his business, yes. that area I will definitely take, but don't take, you know, <sighs> any type of relationship or like for a stock market i wouldn't take advice from someone that's always broke that's correct so that that is a good rule that's just <laughs> <laughs> you know but but sometimes you you want to just be heard yeah so just be uh, being aware again being mindful mm -hmm. of what you're wanting your end result to be yeah be just you know mindful of who you speak to yeah absolutely so absolutely well, so I hang around with Ingrid, so I'm a lot like her. I don't know, that's such a good thing. So, this is cheers to mindfulness. And cheers to, and yeah, let's get into the holidays with uh, our minds intact and boundaries <laughs> set. Yes, there you go. Until next time, Ciao. cheers. Bye bye. Oh, you had it already. You had it ready.